Hey everyone, thanks for watching. This is uh, Barry from Wisconsin Hydrographics. I wanted to give you another example of our uh, thermochromic paint that we mix in-house. Um, this isn't stuff that you buy off of a website or anything like that. We actually mix this powder and uh, we're able to uh, apply it to our hydrographics process. It allows us to give our customers a little something extra. Now I know that there are thermochromic pigments out there. Um, it's just a matter of, of, I guess, learning how to use them correctly so that they hold up in the hydrographics process. But at any rate, what I wanted to show you today was we have a all aluminum billet rifle stock that a customer had purchased or had actually custom made. Uh, he's a competition shooter. He wanted something a little bit different. So what he wanted was he wanted a thermochromic black uh, stock with silver water drops that was going to change colors in the heat. So I'm going to demonstrate it for you here today. What we did was we laid down our base coat, which is the color that he wanted that to change to, and then we put down our thermochromic pigments. And I'm using water because it's a faster change than trying to change the temperature in here. So we have our water turned up to about, uh, it's about 100 degrees. And as you can see, now we're at a, uh, it's, a it's a lime color with the silver water drops. And the whole gun will actually do that, which is what the customer wanted. Now because it's metal, the whole gun stock is metal, it actually takes a little bit longer for the thermochromic to take, a, to take effect and actually change. The good part about it is, is it retains heat longer and it'll actually stay the green color longer because it is, basically it's one solid piece of aluminum. Uh, but as you can see, now it's green with the silver water drops. One of the other things I wanted to show you that we've done is uh, we've taken panels, as you can see here it's a black panel, um, and we tried something a little bit different. We tried placing the pattern underneath to find out if we'd have good adhesion and uh, let me show you an example of that. So at face value you have a black panel and when it heats up it reveals these green skulls that we hydro dipped underneath. So uh, that would be a good application for motorcycle engine components. Uh, our clear coats and paints hold up to 450 degrees. Uh, no issues. We've done a lot of stuff for uh, Harley Davidson, dead components, things like that, uh, that go directly to the engine. They hold up just fine. Uh, also good for car interiors, anything that'll heat up, you know, that gets warm. Summertime, your windows are closed, your whole dashboard could change colors. Uh, so it's a, it's a neat, it's a neat uh, addition to the hydrographics process. And uh, we're glad that we uh, have found a way to make it work and be able to offer it in our shop. If you have any questions, uh, you can visit our website at www.wihydro, that's w-i-h-y-d-r-o.com. Uh, or you can visit us on Facebook, and uh, if you like our Facebook page, you can actually uh, be randomly entered for uh, drawings for free stuff, and that's Wisconsin Hydrographics at Facebook. Uh, otherwise, my contact information is Barry, B-A-R-R-Y, at wihydro.com. Again, thanks for watching. I hope it was interesting for you.